Hello students and a good day! I am Mr. Leo T. Solihon and I will be your remedial reading teacher for today. Welcome to the quarter one, week one, and day five lesson. And now, we need to reveal one's character other than the typical one which is the protagonist and antagonist, especially in fiction. Stay connected as we continue the significant discussion for today. To start with, we need to ignite our mind to these questions. The first one is, have you ever experienced losing something in school? What did you do? Were you able to retrieve it? How did you feel when you got it back? When you did not get it back? Hold on, because later on, the passage is merely connected to these questions. And now, it's time for us to read the passage or the story. Jocelyn and Leia arrived in their classroom just as a bell rang to signal the end of recess. Suddenly, Jocelyn realized that her 20 peso bill was not in her pocket. Leia, my 20 peso bill is missing. I only have a few coins in my pocket, cried Jocelyn. What happened, Jocelyn? Where is your wallet? Leia inquired. I did not bring my wallet. After receiving my change in the canteen, I put money inside my pocket, Jocelyn replied. Hurry, let's retrace our steps and if we are lucky, we will find it, Leia said. Just as they were able to leave the classroom, one of the class officers came in and asked, May I have your attention, please, classmates? Has anyone lost some money? I found some along the corridor near our room. The pupils shook their heads. Jocelyn spoke up. I lost my money. It is a 20 peso bill. If it is, then that money is mine. Yes, it is. The class officer confirmed and handed the money to Jocelyn. Jocelyn looked at the money, then at the officer. She smiled and said gratefully, Thank you so much. I'll be more careful next time. Now, we need to unfold or comprehend the important message of the text. The first one is, who are the characters of the story? Can you identify? Go ahead. I will give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Absolutely, you've got it. It is Leia. Jocelyn and the class officers. How about number two? Kindly read. All together, please. Go. So the question is, how did Jocelyn drop or lose her money? Go ahead. Try. Based on the text, I know you can do it. Go. I will give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Exactly. The first reason is Jocelyn did not bring her wallet. Second, after receiving the change from the canteen, she directly put the money inside her pocket. Malay mo, may butas pala yon. There is a rip or slash, right? For question number three, what was Leia's suggestion? Come on, you can do it. Kaya kaya yan. 
perfect, right? She suggested retracing their steps. For number four, how did Jocelyn feel when she lost her money? Correct. Sad. Kaya nga umiiyak, di ba? Lonely, exactly. How about number five? How would you characterize or describe the class officers? What? Boastful? No, it's not. Try again. Go ahead. Honest. Check. What else? Sincere. Perfect. You've got it. Genuine. Wow. Absolutely. You are learning today. How about you, Ikaw? Yan, yung nakatingin sa akin, you are so quiet. Sir, a leader with a good heart. Wow, may nanalo na. You've nailed it na. Ang galing mo. Next year, I will see you in the regular class. Good job. So it's time for us to pronounce these words correctly. The first one is a pocket. Again, say it loud. Pocket, trace, gracefully, coins, corridor, careful, canteen, confirmed, wallet. Then we moved on to the phrases. The first one is arrived in the classroom. Next is after receiving my change. Next, here are room, then the end of the recess, in my pocket, along the corridor. So we need to go deeper and study the smart art graphic, which is the character traits is in the center and on its sides are the following. The dialogue of its character the actions made by the antagonist and the protagonist, their thoughts while executing the dialogue and their roles, and descriptions in which they will be able to portray and prepare their lines, delivery, setup, and blockings. So, there are nine types of characters. We need to focus first the first four. The first one is confidant, is someone or something the main character confides in. Readers can learn a lot about the main character's personality and thoughts through this. The confidant can be another character or it can be the inside pages of the main character's diary. The second one dynamic and developing is someone who changes throughout the story this may be a good change or a bad one but their motivations desires or even their personality changes due to something in the story the third one flat or statics the opposite of dynamic character a flat character doesn't change much or at all throughout the story. Their personality and or the background aren't revealed well. And we only know a handful of traits about them. The fourth one is Fowl. Fowl is someone who is the opposite of another character. They reflect the opposite traits, hence a full character. Your main character can be sweet and caring, and the full character will bring out that side by being nasty. It contrasts two characters. Ding, ding. I know you are so familiar with the teleserie Ang Provinciano, right? So based on the definition above, here are the concrete examples for confidant, which is based on the teleserie. It is Miss Yazi. Yes, 
Pressman or Aliana, the wife of Cardo Dalisay, and also the team Aguila, right? How about in the flat? It is before Susan, right? Roses or the Capitana before and performs. What's the name? Lola, Flora. I love it. Then, in the Powell part, it is Romnick Sarmiento. I love it. Parang, alam mo yun, magmasid or naging spy with the president, right? Yung president fits a dynamic character. Okay? So, I think you've learned something from our discussion today. Keep it up. And, of course, we need to continue our discussions. And the next one is round. The round character is similar to a dynamic character. They change throughout the story, gaining new traits, some traits opposite to who they used to be. They are pretty much cliche characters such as the dumb shark, or the popular cheerleader. The next one is, which is very common, the protagonists are the root of the story. They will develop over the time and will ultimately be part of the driving force of the plot. This is the character your, your readers will care most about. Then, the antagonist is the opposite of the protagonist, they will oppose your main character. They will, along with the main character, be the driving force behind the plot. And the villain is similar to the antagonist, but they are evil, right? And the next one is round. The example is see Lily and Cortez, which is LT, si Lorna Tolentino there, performed perfectly, right? Then the stock is si Lolo Delphine or the General Borja in the story, performed or char characterized by Jaime Fabregas, right? And the powerful villains is Baron Geisler, right? Alias Bungo during the time. And Jan Arcilia, right? Si Renato Hippolito, I know you are so familiar. I love it, right? The connection with our discussion is very evident, okay? And of course, with the brilliant antagonist. Sino? Of course, Eddie Garcia, okay? And of course, si Miss Tolentino, Lorna Tolentino, also the antagonist. At saka yung right hand, the secretary of um, Lorna, Si Melin Yang, right? And si Arturo Padua also. Okay, now one. And the protagonist, of course, which is Coco Martin as Cardo Dalisay. Of course, laging bugbog to the max, pero hindi na mamatay, okay? So, yun yung hindi natatapos na teleserye. Pero, as of now, of course, nagpahinga muna sila. But still, we already categorize um, those characters. The beginning of justice, an example. So, and you are very cooperative for that. So, thank you so much. Wow, remedial reading class. We are discussing the four years teleserye ang provincial. Grabe. Okay, so, laging magbasa class. Um, Always focus the clues in terms of the definition of each character. God bless. Anyway, why it is important in terms of characterization? It is crucial part of making a story compelling. In order to interest and move readers, characters need to seem real. Authors achieve this by providing the details that make the characters individual and particular. 
good characterizations gives readers a strong sense of characters, personalities, and complexities. It makes characters vivid, alive, and believable. To wrap up, always bear in mind the following. Characterization is the way in which authors convey information about their characters. Do not forget the nine types of characters in fiction, such as confident, dynamic or developing, flat or static, the fool, round, stock, protagonist or the main character, antagonist, and the villain. Take down notes with that. That is a very important thing in this lesson. And that ends our lesson today. Did you understand? Are the tips and examples clear to you? I hope so. But if not, you may go back to the lesson presented in your functional reading comprehension activity sheet. If today's lesson is clear to you, congratulations! You may now answer the activities in your functional reading comprehension activity sheet. Again, this is Leo T. Solihon.